This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation in the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. And what about our Wade's World podcast? What about us? What? I just thought about this. Why? We should have changed the theme music for the Wade's World. To something Christmassy? I'll tell you after the music. Because you people thought we weren't serious, but yes, that's right. For Christmas, you get a full month of Wade's World. What are we living in 2017? I have Phil joining me as always, that musically minded woman uh, from Florida, from the Black Void there, is. Hey y'all, it's Lil Topaz. Are you sure? I was thinking more of like Jingle Bells, Logan Smells, Professor X <laughs> It would never happen, but it would be like, oh my lord, Ryan Reynolds, can you sing something for us? I just need the Jingle Bells Logan Smells. That's it. That's the only drop I'll ever need from Ryan Reynolds. And Lil Hellfire can get it. (laughs) No, no. (laughs) Have too much respect for his wife. (laughs) Hey, table for three. I don't care. Oh, that's right. That's the that's the fan fix we should do. No hellfire. Oh wait, I gotta give you your, your Wade's Miss drop for the rest of the month. Okay. Ho ho ho! Merry Wade's Miss. <laughs> ho ho ho! Ah, we're so juvenile. I love it. <laughs> really, us juvenile? <laughs> no. I don't know how Charlie Esser puts up with us. Honestly, <laughs> dong is a medical term. Fight me, nerds. Oh, please. Charlie loves us. It's, it's something Charlie Esser would like. Let me just put it to you that way. Oh, my lord. I swear, it's just going to be a day where we're not even going to say a word. We're just going to have like a half hour episode. It just drops. <laughs> I think that already happened. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, what issue are we covering for our first uh, Wade's Miss special? I don't think this is our first Wade Miss special. Oh yeah, we're recording ahead of time. Sorry, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> anyway, yes, no. Remember, we're back uh, after last issue, after last episode's uh, great interview with Kelly Thompson. Then we covered Good, Bad, and the Ugly Part Three. Now it's Good, Bad, and the Ugly Part Four with that cover that looks like North Hellfire's like tentacle stuff. Uh, yeah. What is that writing? Do you know? You know several languages. Is it Korean? You would know better than me. Uh, it's hard to tell. A lot of the... I think it's Korean. Okay. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It would be so funny if it just, just said that's what she said in Korean. <laughs> Chimichanga in Korean. <laughs> but no, I was just thinking about that. I was thinking about this the one day. We'll, we'll start the random nonsense. Like, how many languages do you know? Four. And... We know Charlie Esser. He was, you know, he's been on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and you know, just just his vast wealth of knowledge. I, I mean, no offense, but I I have to believe that I may be the stupidest one on this podcast. Thank you, Lilith. No, you're not. I know. Thank you. <laughs> no, you're Galman. I Everybody, know. everybody's just smart in different ways. That's all. You're probably the smartest. Charlie's the prettiest. It's like. <laughs> He's I got the nothing. And the prettiest. Let, let's just be honest here. I don't think he knows as many languages as you do. And languages are easy. Well, really, you just have to you just have to hunker down and do it. English is the most ridiculous language ever. Oh yeah, seriously. Yeah. So if you can learn if you learn English as your first language, I do think that kind of hinders you because our structure is so different. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the good, the bad, to the good, the bad, and the ugly. Anyway, speaking of Logan smelling. <laughs> exactly. We get a flashback of Logan in the wilderness back in the day. The Canadian wilderness. So it's nice and clean. Running naked through the Canadian wilderness. So what is it? It's a little hellfire story? 
Right. Right. Killing everything in her path. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be Canada. Like that. <laughs> then it flashes back to the present of 2013 in North North Korea. Yeah, it's not even the nice Korea. It's North Korea. And we see Wade and Logan and those faux X-Men. They're all faux X-Men now, so they were ahead of the curve. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, my Lord. Again, random nonsense. Did you see, like, not this season two finale of Titans, but the episode before it, what it was called? No. What? They had it was, they had a lot of Hank in it, so they called it Faux Hawk. Oh. They, oh. they went there. Yes. Yikes. I know it can I know it complained about long when TV shows have long titles, but Faux Hawk. <laughs> They're just like, shut up, we'll give you Nightwing the next episode. Shut up. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but um yeah. This was this was a little tedious, but we're getting to the end here. Didn't feel like we were getting to the end. It was kind of meandering, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I guess they're trying to break into the installation, and uh, Captain America says he hasn't figured out the best plan yet. <laughs> I love Wolverine. Why do we even bring you, Deadpool? Because he's the Weapon Plus Prom King. <laughs> so, yes. Uh. Oh, Captain America, I was collecting tin and paper for the war effort on the night of my prom. Because remember, he's old. And he was also a virgin until after he became Captain America. Just saying. I think that's pretty much canon. Well, yeah, I think most women were probably bigger than him until he got the serum. <laughs> or unless him and Bucky, you know. Oh! Hold on. Don't be a troll. Uh, but I love how he says he was collecting tin and paper on the night of his prom and Deadpool still not the worst prom ever <laughs> oh but they they sneak in the butler's bunker by sending one of the act, fake X-Men in Deadpool's mask who blows up oh it's the Cyclops <laughs> And then Deadpool comes flying over the fence with his swords and yells, it's raining men. Sorry, I forgot this backwater doesn't have disco stations. Exactly. Oh, Posein, I see ya. Oh, Bert, I see ya. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so and then they're storming the bunkers and freeing prisoners from mines. Oh, it's Cap freeing prisoners from the mines. Stupid cap uniform you know what I, I i know you don't like cap in any for iterate most iterations but it's just like i hate when like they have him as like a military guy or like agents of shield or something it's like when he's like just like a superhero and it's like the only group he he associates with are the avengers yeah i could see that what happened to the days when grudel had him just cruising around the country in a van um a lot of people are doing that but not for fun <laughs> The economy is bad. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> or you're a hipster. Oh my you lord! Know, one of the two. But again, random nonsense. I'm oh, sorry. I keep going back to this, but I saw like in the latest issue of Captain America, like he got in a fight with U.S. agent because U.S. agent is dumb, and it was like, "Oh, you were Hydra Cap." And he's like, "No, I wasn't. Shut up." <laughs> but I think I saw the best headline. Like I'm gonna hear I'm gonna hear this name in my head every time now when anyone, anyone's talking about U.S. agent. I think it was CBR Comic Book Resources actually had a clever one. It was an article on U.S. agent. They called him U.S. a hole. <laughs> I'm like yes. I'm like I love the character, but yes. <laughs> U.S. a hole. <laughs> uh, so then you that- could have said Ash Hole. Yeah, but it's U.S. agent. I know. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, so then Deadpool's trying to break into the bunker. Uh, so then, uh, remember, Deadpool has Agent Preston in his head. So he's like, do you have any shortcuts for this door? She's like, no, there aren't any shield back doors for that. Blah, blah, blah. Biometrics. And he's like, when you talk about back doors, I get so excited. <laughs> 
God, God, God. Something little Hellfire would say. I know. I'm like, how the hell are they all not giving us a like comic books the right? Look what the look what we were getting. Come on. Listen listen to the last ninety four episodes of this podcast and then tell me we couldn't write a Deadpool comic book. I, I could write it well, maybe not as well as uh Kelly Thompson. No. I, I, I could write a good funny well, it'd have to be a hard team plus, but that's all <laughs> easily. <laughs> hey, they've had Deadpool Max, which we'll be getting to in January. Oh, give us a Deadpool Max. Yes. Tell you where we'll stick our katana. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> Ooh, double penetration. Philip, Master Doom could be listening and watching at any moment. I meant I meant sucking chest wounds from from sword attacks. There we go. I said sucking. Uh, <laughs> the worst. The worst. I don't know. I actually kind of didn't mind Captain this in this issue, to be honest. So I mean, when he's written well, he's you know, it's a good character. But it's just you know, some people just make him either too hard headed or too. It's like, but. Wolverine, yeah. Oh, he's just. I kind of wish what happened to Park happened to him. <laughs> he's just tearing up North Koreans with the fake X Men. I know. Uh, until his double gets taken out with a bullet. Yeah, I was happy to see Park go. Uh, and it's like, how can how are you just gonna mention Luke Cage and not show him? Damn it! <laughs> oh, something little that Hellfire I might like. Something little Hellfire might like. But why is it every time someone's like near death, Wolverine is right there to put them out of their misery? It, a it's a fetish like his fetish for redheads. It's all I'm saying. Wolverine, it, Logan is a strange man. <laughs> he's got, he's into some weird stuff. I'm the best the there Indians is. Indians usually are. He's the best there is at what he does. And what he does best is be the Jack of Orkian of the Marvel Universe. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got a thing. It, it keeps them young. It keeps them young. <laughs> what? The blood of the innocent? Yeah. <laughs> Just like you! Yes, exactly. Uh, I can't live like this, Logan. Put me out of my... Okay. <laughs> wait, Nick. wait, wait! No! I was Joker! <laughs> I, I, I think that the, the premise is definitely interesting, but this execution is just like, why did it have to be five parts? I'm confused. Like, the good, the bad, and the ugly, shouldn't it have been three <laughs> Just, But again, just it's, the, it's the age of the trades, maybe. They were writing to get a trade. I, don't, I think, I don't know if they collect this in a trade. I would have bet any money they did. I, I don't recall, but probably. Or you... you even if they don't know it's come becoming a trade, they probably write in fives and sixes now, just hoping it gets collected in a trade. I guess. Mm. <laughs> and fake Deadpool, uh, Kim. Yeah. Yes, basically going to take his guys and leave Deadpool. Now that you mention it, I have a lot of one star reviews online. If you enjoyed your Deadpool experience, maybe you could post a good review when you get to a country with a computer. Damn. How rude. <laughs> um, but uh what was it? who's the quote? This is important. One of them could be my daughter. Please don't let Eleanor be here. Please, please don't be in here. Oh yes, because he thinks uh his baby mama and his daughter are gonna be here. Yeah. And that's when things get really get wacky and he finds the open you know, the, the mass grave. Ouch. Oof, as the kids say nowadays. <laughs> Just again, uh, well, is this too dark for a Deadpool? No. See, that's the thing about Deadpool. He jokes because you gotta, you gotta laugh to keep from crying. The stuff that he goes through is kind of messed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just him, like hip deep in that mass grave. Ooh. Don't worry, the wackiness will ensue in about three more pages. Mm. Uh, Cap's telling him, we'll get the bastard. <laughs> Wolverine's just like, not now. Carmelita Camacho. Corpse, rest in peace. 
uh, and Butler's putting the finishing touches on his sister. Okay, that's on a dirt. Ugh. This is a creepy story. Let's just be honest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't worry. Next week will be the finale of this. Is that even a... Like, I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's strange. It's like somebody dropped acid and wrote this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the art is great, but this story is confusing. It's like... I don't need to know any more about Wade's past if this is what it's all like at this point. <laughs> yes. But yes, next week is the conclusion in Deadpool 19. And then we'll lighten it up a little bit for the last week of the year with Deadpool team up number one from 1998. Yes. We'll wait. I was going to say, nothing lightens up the mood like little people. <laughs> oh, and Charlie Esser. The f- uh Another Secret Wars 2 tie-in. He loves Secret Wars 2. Uh, he's like the only person. I know. Like, everyone talks about Secret Wars. He's like, oh, I love Secret Wars. Well, you know, Mr. I love Superman 3. Well, I like Superman 4, so I can't really talk. I think... Oh, I oh, I, I put 4 above 3 any day. The only redeeming thing of 3 is, like, that junkyard fight. Yeah. I think literally that's instantly what everybody thinks of if mm-hmm. you've even seen it. People are like, what? There was a third and a fourth one? Yeah. The only the only thing people remember from 3 is the junkyard and then him sitting in the bar flicking peanuts. Which I love Supergirl when she imitated that scene. That was great. How much did she have? I have a wine cooler. <laughs> it was spiked with it was spiked with whatever berry drinks. <laughs> I mean, there she's Kryptonian, but she weighs like 105 pounds. Oh, that's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs> what that anyway, like, little alcohol gets you drunk? I mean, I don't I don't I don't drink to get drunk on purpose. <laughs> but my tolerance is so damn high. <laughs> exactly. I'll have another and another. I think the I think the only human being that has a higher tolerance than you is maybe Charlie, Charlie Esser, yeah. Or Marnell. <laughs> I don't know. It might be a tie between Marnell and myself. It might be. <laughs> You're betrothed. You're a bride to be. I'm telling you, you know, Florida, it's, it's not snow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, both you sisters, get down to Florida. Please. <laughs> it's, starting to, it's starting to get weird up there. So you'll fit right in in Florida. <laughs> That's right. Hey. You know Lil's a good friend. Hey, especially you, Morno. If you can tolerate four dogs, it's fine. Oh, my Lord. You, I, you heard of a cat lady? I'm a dog lady. It's fine. I think if you and her, li- you and Morno live together, it would literally, literally, like, the universe couldn't take it. Like, a black hole would start to form in Florida. <laughs> just a gravitational pull of that drunkenness. It just... Oh yeah, we 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 drink Tampa Dry. I tell you what. <laughs> Anywho, it's you, it's you and her. You would drink Tampa Dry, and then like skin some kind of animal or something. Gators. Ah. Oh. Make some boots. Oh. Make some boots. Oh, Lil Thamar Marnell versus a gator. I want that. I want that so bad. You have to record that. <laughs> So oh my lord! You want our YouTube to go big, Lilith? I'm giving you a partner. I'm not sending you in there single handedly. Oh, don't tip me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like last time that I was at work, everybody was talking about like the weirdest food that they ate, and I'm like, I don't know, goat, goose, whatever. Somebody's like gator, and I'm like, ew. Just ew. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we talked this all, about this already. Like you said, you, uh, goose gives you your strength. Oh, so good, dude. But I, I'm gonna try gator bites probably like tomorrow. Really? Yeah, that it, it's a plate. It's the the mini golf course actually, not too far from my house. Actually serves them, so I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna. So I can say that I did it. I have to like get my Florida checklist going here because I'm sick of Florida. So. Oh lord. So you said, so you've never had Gator before? This will be your first time? Exactly. All right. All right. Next time, we'll have to quiz Lil Hellfire on what Gator tastes like. It tastes like chicken. We're in the Matrix. It's fine. I was (laughs) going to say, depending on how it's prepared, it probably tastes like chicken. 
Chicken of the Anywho. South. Chicken of the South. Ugh, like, Gary Dugan, like, like, Gary Dugan did a lot of good stuff in Deadpool, but some of it was super weird, and this is just in the weird category. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know the character has, like, a dark side, but I don't know, this was kind of a little too dark. I mean, spoilers, it's not like the daughter dies, but just rebuilding sisters with body parts and yeah but i don't know i'm kind of expecting that from kelly thompson with this whole king of the monsters thing like secretly like i think she's gonna give us a little gore and a little humor i think she she, she can find a balance for that i was gonna probably. say yeah i was gonna say even i i see kelly thompson making it a little more palatable and not like ugh, exactly giving you douche chills just like, yeah. it just, just leaves you like really that that's how we're gonna leave the story okay <laughs> okay that was depressing i was gonna say maybe this kind of story needs a talented woman's touch some just a, just a little bit just 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 like a little, a little cherry on top of the poop sunday just just a cherry on top of the poop sunday <laughs> <sighs> yes Yes, yes. Oh, oh but hey, so this, let's get out of here. This is it. This is ep- this was episode ninety five. We're only like five away till episode one hundred, where we're gonna get we'll have to get Charlie and whoever else in here to do our uh, live commentary of Deadpool two. We should have totally pre recorded it when we were all together. I know. I, I know. We should have. Oh, but we, we were had- too busy playing that great game, Chameleon. <laughs> Oh my lord, we would have had Maz Manzor too. Ah, damn it, why didn't you remind me? Because I was drunk, you say. I was tipsy. Without a doubt. That's right. Lilith is always drunk. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not always, but a good majority of the time. <laughs> Oh, I love a good argument. If somebody wants to argue with me, I'm always down for that. <laughs> I'm not that kind of drunk. <laughs> oh. I can't recall. Yes, that's the kind of drunk I am. <laughs> <laughs> Stop with the mosh drops. I'm going to strangle you the next time I see you, Philip. Sounds like a plan. Have a good night. Yes, have a good night. <laughs> Give them our shameless plugs. All right, everyone. Send us your thoughts on this storyline, upcoming stuff you want to see, uh, cliff notes for our, uh, like we said, upcoming episode 100 of uh, our live uh, commentary for Deadpool 2. Oh, you know who we need to get for that? Who? Well, we already mentioned them, our friends from Alaska. <gasps> Yeah, we should. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll have to send Marnello a gift card. I don't know what kind of liquor stores they got in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> send her some moonshine. <laughs> all right, so send us all that. Ooh, ooh, Quantum Zone one hundred's coming too. I wonder if, how close it'll be to Wade's World one hundred. Oh, you people might get a week of Wade's World one hundred and Quantum Zone one hundred. I'll have to look at that. Anyway, what are you boys doing for one hundred? A double side. No, Double sized episode of uh, two what if uh, uh, issues. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Double size 100. Anyway, oh, well, Wade's World will be too if we're doing the movie in real time. Mm-hmm. All right. So, lots of big, beefy, juicy episodes coming your way. <laughs> Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail, 614 382 2737. That's 614 38 capes. And remember, go and check out the link tree. That's L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics for all our social media links, links to the YouTube, links to the merch. And Charlie S. are still trying to figure out how to use the two E's in the middle there for link tree. The E-E is for Estonia. <laughs> the two E's are for excellence. <laughs> and remember to support the sponsors. Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, uh, Pod Life, the book. Go pick it up. Not in, only am I in there, but our f- aforementioned friends from Alaska are in there. So go check that book out. And again, check out the show notes because this holiday season support Southgate Media Group by uh, clicking on the Amazon link. It affects you not at all, but puts quite the smile on Master Doom's face. Oh, hell, Master Doom. All right. 
Lilith Hellfire. Put that gator down and tell people where they can get a hold of you. If you nerds want to uh, give me gator meat recipes, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire or over on Instagram at Lil Hellfire sixty nine. Hello, Megan. Oh my God. Oh my God. Don't say it, Phil. <laughs> if any, of you, if any of you Florida men want to give Lil any gator meat, <laughs> preferably jerked. Oh! <laughs> I need to get the Macona button for that. I can't help myself. We gotta get out of here. You're gonna get me suspended. Oh, if you want to give her that gator meat, because it's tough and hard. Anyway, thank you for joining us once again for Wade's World. And remember, go tell Master Doom. Again, next episode, join us for the conclusion of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Everyone says, thank God. Uh, from Deadpool 19. And then remember the final uh, Secret Wars 2 tie in for the, the tie up the year from Deadpool Team Up number one. All the little people will be there. Widow Wade, Little Hellfire. I know it's a short joke. It's fine. Oh. Wade's World. Wade's World. Uh. So thank you to Charlie Esther. Thank you to Marnell and Diane. For being good sports. All right, maximum effort. No, no common sense or self control.